Hello everyone. In today's command video, we're going to be taking a look at how to use custom locations for your quick battle edits. So uh, this is based on a question that I got over in the forum as well on YouTube, who was basically asking, how do you edit your location as well as all the other details? It's a little more involved than just adding a brand new unit with loadout, but I uh, will take a look at it today anyway. So first things first, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and open up the area that I was working in yesterday. In this case, I'm Command Modern Operations, Quick Battle, I have the one that I want to edit. So to do this, you're going to have to edit both the HTML file as well as the Lewis script in order to be successful at this. We're also going to have to do a little bit of math too, but I wouldn't worry too, too much about that. So let's go ahead and grab our notepads. Let's go ahead and start by editing the HTML file. Now, the way that they chose to do locations is basically you have a center longitude and latitude point, and then they extrapolate the radius from that location randomly in order to place the other unit, which I think is actually a really slick trick. So what we need to do is we need to change that center point, which is all we're going to be doing. So to do that, I'm going to scroll down and find where it says game location. You can see there's some really, really good examples real quickly. I'm going to go ahead and create my own game location. Copy paste the Baltic Sea. Uh, let's call it Indian Ocean. Indian Ocean. Uh, deep water near India. Oh, let's be more specific here. Now, the first thing you want to notice is I've named this. This is going to be my location. This you don't actually see in the HTML. And this is just a description to make it a little easier for the user to understand. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to grab the Indian Ocean. Notice there's no space here and there's no fancy symbols. We don't want to break the HTML by accident. I'm just going to grab that. I'm going to go ahead and save it. And we're all done with the HTML. Now what we're going to do is go grab the script.lua, which is over here, and we're going to scroll down until we can find game locations. Now this is where the actual game location is, and just like I was promising you, here's that variable from the HTML, here's the latitude, here's the longitude, and then you get this funny number called GMT offset. The reason this exists is because if you set the time of day to say 12 o'clock, 12 o'clock isn't the same time everywhere in the world. So this variable here basically saves us the trouble of that problem. So let's go ahead and do it. First thing you want to do is if you're adding a new location is to come down to the last location, add a comma. If you skip the comma, then it's going to blow up on you because it's going to think this is all one line. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy paste this information from this one. Just like that. Again, there's no comma at the end of it now. Your last item does not need a comma, but anything in between does. And if you remember, we called it Indian Ocean. So now we're not done. Unfortunately, we need to get the latitude and longitude value as well as the GMT offset. Well, let's start with the GMT offset because that's pretty easy. Let's say I want my battle to take place right here. To get the GMT offset, all I have to do is compare the Zulu time to the local time. In this case, I can see that there's a positive four hour difference. So now I can just come in here, make it four. Now the latitude and longitude, this is gonna be a little bit more difficult to do. What you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna grab your favorite web browser and then on a search engine, you're gonna look for degree minutes, seconds, to decimal degrees. Now the reason we have to do this is command in front of us is giving us degrees, minutes, seconds. Command inside of the script is looking for decimal. So we have to make sure we do that carefully. So I like latlong.net. They seem to do a pretty good job of this. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to basically copy right where my cursor is there. It looks like 133408. Coming down here for my aviation folks, I'll put the zero in front of the 62. I'll do 44 and 19. Again, reading that right off my cursor. Now I'm going to click on convert. It'll give me my latitude and longitude. Warning, warning. You need to make sure that the number is positive for the northern hemisphere, negative for the southern hemisphere for latitude. Again, that's up and down. For longitude, positive is the eastern hemisphere and negative is the western hemisphere. So make sure you include that sign. Otherwise, you're going to find people in the middle of the Great Lakes instead of China Sea. So watch out for that. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to go back to our script. And now it's simply a matter of grabbing this value. Whoa, come on. There we go. Copy pasting it directly into here. Again, make sure you don't get your latitude and longitude confused. That could be a big problem also. Copy that value. I'm going to scoot over here as well. Paste that in. Let's go ahead and uh, save. File, save. I've already saved the HTML file. I'll close that out real quickly. Go to file. Start menu. Quick battle. And all I'm going to do is uh, click right here. And if I come down here, you'll notice deep water near India. Ta-da! Just like we expected, you can see we spotted in that location. Okay, hopefully this is helpful. You can use the same technique for the air-to-air -air engagements or pretty much any engagement that you imagine. The important thing is, like I was saying a minute ago, don't get this goofed up, otherwise you're going to have issues. Enjoy.